What up fam, in this video I want to talk about Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. So today I headed to El Campeón, located in San Juan Capistrano, which is a Mexican taco place, pastry spot, and next door they even have their own market. The reasons I came here was because they always decorate their altars, very cool. So right here we have Pan de Muerto, Bread of the Dead, which I'm not sure why they call it that, I should have asked. Alright you guys, so I found out what Pan de Muerto means, the Bread of the Dead, and what it represents. So each type of Pan de Muerto is different, filled with symbolism. For example, the one that I just showed you, the round one, symbolizes the circle of death. The ball on top represents the skull of the disease, and the pieces that lay across the bread in the shape of a cross signify their bones and tears. They have different types. They have like these powdered sugar ones, and yeah, just want to show you guys. So this is some of the stuff that they also put on the offerings, the pan de muerto. And this is just some pan for me to eat later. So I wanted to share with you guys, especially if you guys are new to this tradition. This tradition originates from ancient pre-Hispanic rituals practiced by the indigenous people like the Aztecs, Mayans, and Olmecs. These rituals involved in making offerings to the deceased and their belief that the dead were not gone and always have a connection with the living. The knowledge that was passed down to me was that on like the 28th, you will have the candles and water already set on the altar. Candle meaning that your ancestors will be able to locate where they need to go, seeing the light in the spirit world. And also the water is because they arrive thirsty, which I find really cool, the connection with water and the spirit world. So on Halloween day, you should already have the food offerings and everything they like for altars that include children. They correlated with Halloween day because children go out and ask for candy on that day, just as children's spirits come out to visit on that day. And on November 1st, the next day is when you will go to the cemetery, to the grave, or you could even do it at home, but you will eat the food that you stored away that you made for the offering or that you bought from the offering. You'll eat it with your ancestors because that's the last day that they'll leave. So you eat their favorite foods, listen to their favorite music, favorite shows, anything that your ancestors like. And then also on November 1st is the day that you will put your offerings and your food for the adults, the ancestors that have passed on. So on the next day, November 2nd is the last day of the Day of the Dead. And that's when you basically do the same thing that you do with the children. You'll go to the cemetery, you'll go to the grave, or you could even do it at home. And that's when you, you eat the food with your loved ones before they go, and that's it. Here at my house, I want to show you what we have. Um, we have some offerings. I bought some Chinese food. This is for my dad. Um, I went to his favorite Chinese place, Chinese food place, and uh, my mom's favorite fried chicken and all that that he liked. We put some oranges um, and all that. We have pan de muerto like I showed you guys. And I also put some for my brother-in-law, put some fried chicken and also for my mom's friend right here. And then that's my dog. My dog used to like milk. Um, I know it's not good, but I would give it to her once in a while, some milk, and I had milk in this little thing for her. And then um, since it was overnight, I changed it to water. And yeah, that's my dad right there. He loved these chocolates, the Carlos Quintos. And then this is um, this watch right here. I bought it for him on one of his birthdays. We just always kept it there because that just reminds us of him. And then we have miracles all around our shrine right here. And then this is my grandma who recently passed away. And yeah, you guys, so that's it. I just wanted to share that tradition with you guys, especially to all my subs, especially to all those who don't know about the other los muertos or why we do it and all that. So if you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out, fam.